The Northwest's crabbing crisis continues as the possibility of another complete closure looms. The reality of this situation is that until we see more recruitment into that large male size class that the fishery targets, um, it, it seems in conversations that the industry is preparing for a closure. Erin Fidawa is one of the NOAA scientists who gathers crab population numbers every year, information that helps leaders decide how much crabbers are allowed to catch. The last five years have brought a roller coaster. Snow crab in particular is a, a pretty wild ride. It started with record high population numbers in 2019. Then the survey was canceled in 2020, and when the scientists returned in 2021, millions of crabs seemingly vanished. In 2021 was really that, that big headline when the snow crab collapse happened. They now know it's because the crab's crucial cold water habitat warmed, killing most of the population and for the first time ever prompting complete closures of the snow crabbing season in 2022 and again in 2023. Now in 2024, scientists are trying to figure out if there are enough crabs for a season, which would start October 15th. To have it be closed for the first two seasons ever is a, a huge hit. Scott Goodman is the executive director for the Bering Sea Fisheries Research Foundation, a non that helps improve science used in crabbing. It's been very difficult through this crab crisis in a big way. He says for crabbers, a third year of little to no income will hurt. It's still crisis mode. Uh, the crab industry is struggling to survive. Uh, there's disaster relief money on the federal side that that comes very, very slowly and it's nowhere near enough. It's not like normal. So I think we're in a mode right now of hoping to see recovery in the stocks themselves and get a place back where the fisheries are all open. But there is movement toward recovery. Seeing that glimmer of hope in our survey is really what we all wanted to see. Aaron says water temperatures are returning closer to normal and baby crabs are slowly growing. Since then, 2022, 23, and then this survey have been sort of more of a positive sign for the stock. So we've seen new recruitment, meaning that we have more juvenile snow crab that are entering the system. And the idea is that it'll, ju it'll just take three to four years for those crab to reach maturity and reach sizes that the fishery is targeting. But it's a waiting game as we give these crabs enough time to grow to a catchable size without threatening the population again. That comes at a cost. Uh, the crab industry, uh, the communities are very much suffering due to these closures. And I think it's something that weighs heavily on fishery managers. When you're closing a fishery, you are not only acknowledging that you are potentially allowing a stock to recover, but you're also impacting the livelihoods of of an entire fishing community and industry. Scott says crabbers are hopeful for balance. I think the reality is that uh, the industry understands that we're likely in a period of small seasons for a bit. And I think uh, we were very much interested in that in a sustainable way, but we'd hope to see more of a recovery so that this isn't the new normal. While he says snow crabs are dubbed the bread and butter of the catch, there are two other smaller species. So in the meantime, crabbers are planning to catch those two species of crab whose populations are doing well this season, Tanner and Bristol Bay King Crab, as they wait to hear the fate of the season for the big money maker, the snow crab. I think the reality is that uh, crabbers want to be fishing. Uh, it's expensive to have boats tied up and it's expensive to not be fishing. Leah Pizzetti joins us now and Leah, warming waters caused this rapid decline. Is there a chance that that could happen again? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's a big concern moving forward. Right now, the water is cooling back down to where it should be, but scientists warn that with a changing climate and warming ocean waters, we could definitely see a similar marine heat wave in the future, but they hope if and when it happens again, they'll be better prepared to take faster action and protect our crab population. So the fate of the season has not yet been announced. Mm -hmm. Do we know yet when the official decision will be for 2024? Mm -hmm. So it's a long process. Okay. A lot of hoops we have to jump through. <laughs> the, the crabbing season is set to officially start October 15th. That's an annual date. So a decision will be announced by then. Last year, it came out October 6th, so we do expect expect it within the next week or two, but that's something we will certainly keep everybody updated on. Okay.